The tour is back on. I got a question for you. Are you living life? Or is life living you? How bad do you want to be successful? Are you ready to level up in life? Are you ready to go to that next level? Are you sick of being average? I ask you again, are you living life? Or is life living you? Less than unstoppable. The International World Tour. Dr. Billy Osbrooks. Coming to a city near you. I'll be teaching a four hour, life changing seminar on the art of greatness. Arise, champion. Every city will sell out. Get your tickets now. We are kicking the tour back off June 14th in Los Angeles, California. We are coming to 20 cities between now and the end of the year. And we ain't stopping there. We're taking a message to Europe. October 25th, London. Get your tickets now at blessedandunstoppable.com. Israel wandered in the desert for 40 years out of doubt and fear too scared to go seize and take what had already been given to them this plague of doubt wiped out a whole generation but from the ashes God arose a new generation from which Joshua led the descendants of the unbelievers into the promised land. The same God that gave them victory back then will give you victory today. Now whether it's healing you need, strength to overcome addiction, funding to start your new business, restoration of your marriage, emotional healing, victory over panic attacks, whatever it is, I'm here to tell you today that with God all things are possible and if God promised you something in his word you can take it to the bank that he's going to deliver God ain't never defaulted on a promise now I'm gonna lay out the steps for your victory while here on earth so you can walk on earth as it is in heaven see we don't need to die to experience heaven we can bring heaven to us right now now the first step to seize in the promises of God is faith. The only way to enter into the promised land is to seize it by faith. By faith, we become partakers of His divine nature. Ooh, let me go deeper now. See, the Spirit set the physical in motion. Therefore, we can dictate to the physical through the power of the Spirit that lives within us. God said, let there be light. He set all the physical and natural laws in motion with one word. God is spirit. Therefore, when we align with the spiritual, we have the same dictatorial powers over the physical. See, your faith activates the spirit. And that spirit lifts us up into the presence of God. Aligns us with his power. And then allows us to do what the world in the physical says is impossible. That's what the scripture means. With God, all things are possible. We conquer. Not by faith in our own ability, but by faith in the one to which all things bow. Here's the secret. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Destiny is obligated by universal law to concede to the demands of unwavering faith. And I believe faith is the only language the universe responds to. So if you want to seize the promises here on earth, you need to become fluent in the language of belief. Now here's what true faith is. True faith is to laugh at any evidence, challenge, or obstacle that runs contrary to the promises of God. Now what the enemy is hoping is that you won't look in the mirror and see the champion that God made you to be. I'm speaking to somebody out there it's time for you to dream bigger, aim higher, and shoot for the stars. It's time to stop settling for less than God's best. That is not the word. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. You want to be successful in life? 
You gotta do more than believe that. You gotta own that. When faith becomes mobilized, transformation happens. God has planted a dream in each and every one of you out there. And some of you are running from it. The era and days of living in defeat are over. No longer shall we be content trading in our dreams, ambitions, and destinies for a lukewarm state of existence. Let us not seek anything above what God is willing to give, but let us not settle for one ounce less than what he has promised. Now many times we downsize our expectation of God out of fear of disappointment that he won't show up and fulfill his end. But God, your daddy told me to tell you that he loves you and he ain't never ever gonna let you down. And that dream you gave up on, it's time to pick it back up. God is about to do a new thing in your life. Dreams watered with unwavering faith eventually become reality. Your enemy doesn't want me to tell you this, but one person who believes in a dream can overcome an army of 10,000 doubters. Dreams bloom in the fertile soil of expectation. Are you expecting God to show up? Are you expecting God to show out? Now I want you to be aware of the devices of the enemy. The enemy will always be in opposition to what God has promised you. Religion is Satan's weapon. Relationship is God. Your problems are no match for God. Now the second step to walking in the fullness of the blessing while here on earth is obedience. Now to redeem God's earthly promises, we must align every aspect of our lives with his will. The greater the obedience, the more God can use you. And there's nothing on earth greater than being used by God. Now let me define what true obedience is. Obedience is to seek relationship with God. And from that relationship, all the requirements of the law are met. See, legalism chokes the spirit, but grace unleashes it. Any area of your life not submitted to God is in a state of rebellion. And rebellion is the fruit of doubt. And doubt is a type of kryptonite that destabilizes the connection between heaven and us. I gotta keep it real, cause this is important. Some of you out there are asking God to bless you in one area of your life, but you rebelling in another. Now let me give you an example, a clear cut example. You praying for God to bless that dream of that new business, or to help you in your finances, or to heal you, but yet you running around on your wife. Ooh, I gotta keep it real now. I gotta keep it real with you, see? Now you gotta get that area of your life that's in rebellion back in line. See, and what you do, all the promises of God are yes and amen. In Hebrew, the word amen means truth. And the lies of the enemy cannot hide an environment of truth. So we need to get a whole lot of that amen inside us. The reason we gotta stay in alignment is revelation diminishes in an environment of sin. Righteous living allows us constant access to God's power. The prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Now to stay in this kingdom walk, we gotta constantly stand on God and check ourselves on the inside. You see, detoxing emotionally on a daily basis makes one immune to the devices of the enemy. Toxic emotions become inner parasites and if not dealt with they will cause mental physical and spiritual imbalances now what i'm referring to here is anger bitterness resentment jealousy envy malice all the stuff that the enemy tries to plant on the inside like that movie frozen you gotta let it go now step three to season the promises of god is vision. Where there is no vision, the people perish. Vision is the genesis of all greatness. Vision is that mental blueprint from which your life will be built. Just like a house has an architect, you are the architect of your life. Success requires self-awareness and that self-awareness arises out of vision. 
Now true vision is having divine revelation as to who God is and who he made you to be. It's understanding the calling God placed on your life and having full knowledge of your God-given gifts, talents, and abilities. Knowing your identity is a game changer. There's no alcohol, drugs, sex, or any amount of money that can match the natural high of being in your calling. Doing what God made you to do, opportunity stalks people with vision. You gotta be in the right place in order to receive the blessing. Many of you out there are struggling because you're out of position. You're asking God to bless you. He's already blessed you. You're just in the wrong place. You can't receive it over there. You got to get to where God called you to be. Now, if you don't have a vision for your life, it's time to get one. Ask God to show you what your life is supposed to look like. What does he want for your future? Ask him for clarity. Now, I got to keep it real. Some of you out there are chasing a vision that is not from God. If your vision contradicts the word of God, then it is not from him. There's a voice on the inside of you that's been talking all along. It knows exactly what you were designed to do. It's in your DNA. God is not the altar of confusion. So he wants you to have clarity because clarity is gravity. If sustained long enough, it will attract the circumstances needed to create the outcome in vision. If it's healing you want, then you gotta get a vision for that healing. You gotta see yourself in your mind already healed. You gotta get that vision for healing so clear. 4K, high definition, resolution. I mean, make that thing so big that it won't fit in your mind any longer. That the only place it has to go is into the physical. Grab with both hands what God has promised you and never let it go. Apply the same process to every area of your life. You gotta get a vision for your marriage, for your finances, for your children, for your spiritual life. Success starts in the mind. Now the fourth thing you got to do to seize the promises of God is to get your mind right. I'm talking about your mindset, your paradigms, your belief systems, your thinking patterns. The word says, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Disciplined mind rooted in truth can do the impossible wherever you want to go. You gotta first go there with your thinking to walk in the fullness of the blessing. We must let go of the belief systems that have been keeping us in bondage. If we keep on thinking the same, we gonna keep on getting the same results. Our lives are the fruit of our most consistent thought patterns. Now to change of behavior, we must first address the mindset that produces it. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're trying to stop drinking. So you go get your beer, you go get your alcohol, you get all that stuff out of the house. Your house is clean. But if you don't get the alcohol out of you, your thinking, your thought processes, the belief systems that produce the drinking in the first place, it won't be long before that beer and that alcohol will be right back in your house. Victory starts in the mind. Once you take full possession of the promise in your mind, Nothing can stop you. Your mindset is the lens which you see the whole world through. If you want to seize the promises of God, you got to effectively adjust that lens and see it the way God sees. To see accurately, we must see everything in this world through the Word. Champions understand what gives them the advantage. It's their mindset. You got to discipline and condition your mind to do the impossible. Now for you to turn your dreams into reality, you're gonna have to master the psychology of winning. Day in and day out, you gotta conquer the battlefield of the mind. You gotta make sure that the enemy doesn't get any foothold, any root in your thinking. Losers bow to obstacles. Champions make obstacles bow to them. Champions don't make excuses, they make adjustments. This is the mindset. This is what you gotta adopt if you wanna go to the next level. Hear me now, it's impossible to build success on the mindset that doesn't support it. We gotta cast down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Kingdom thinking, if sustained long enough, will eventually produce peace and order in any situation. You can only go as far in life as your mind and grind will carry.
Now that brings us to number five. In order to walk in the fullness of the blessings, to seize the promises of God, we got to take action. Action is the undisputable evidence which reveals one's true level of faith. Now I want to clear something up. Sometimes in life, God will say, peace, be still, and know that I am God. Meaning, he is going to make the thing happen. That you just need to sit tight and let him do it. A great example of this is God freeing Israel from the captivity of Pharaoh. He led Israel out of Egypt on his own. They didn't have to do anything. He sent the ten plagues and they left there with all the treasures and riches of Egypt. But now to seize the promised land, Joshua had to bring the army in and they had to seize it by faith. They had to play their role. They had to take action. See, many of you out there, you just praying and praying and praying for God to do everything. That's not the way it works because you don't get stronger like that. You don't learn anything like that. Your mind imagines the dream. But in order for destiny to bloom, it must consistently be watered with blood, sweat, and tears. Hard work is the membership fee that filters out the weak from the strong. Successful people don't just work hard. They work hard at the things that matter. That's wisdom. In your field, find out what the most important factors are that determine success. And then place all your time, energy, and focus there. You got to go 120 on the 20. The 20% that actually matters. That's where you got to put all your resources. Actions and behaviors that continually align with the promises will eventually produce them. Dream big. But remember this, your work ethic needs to match the size of that dream. You've heard me say it before. You can't purchase greatness with Bitcoin. You gotta purchase it with the currency of hard work. Now the word says, a slack hand causes poverty. But the hand of the diligent makes rich. Be not a hearer of the word only, but be a doer also. Wisdom has not been fully accepted until it's been applied. 120 beast mode. You gotta be willing to go all in. From sun up to sundown, you gotta be willing to get down. Grind until you shine. Stay prayed up. And then go put that work in. God said, I will bless all the work of thy hand. Work of thy hand. That means we gotta do work. Now I gave you the blueprint. Now go out there and seize the promises of God. Get what's yours. I'm Billy Allsbrooks, blessed and unstoppable. To God be the glory. The struggle is real, but you know you were meant for more. That dream that's on the inside of you just won't shut up. Because you know you were meant for more. You've always been different. They never understood you. They've always doubted you. Because you're different. But you know something that they don't know. You know, to be successful, you cannot follow the masses. You gotta be different. And you are bold enough to be you. You've always been different. Success ain't for everybody. B7, you clothing. Wear your identity. Blessed and unstoppable. Success starts with putting the right things into your mind. My new book, Blessed and Unstoppable, was strategically designed to align your mind with the laws of success. This curriculum will teach you the inner mechanics required to go from average to phenomenal, from living a life with limits to being blessed and unstoppable. As you follow this guide step by step, amazing breakthroughs will happen, new doors of opportunity will open, and favor will begin to chase you down. Blessed and Unstoppable is a 31-day devotional on the laws of success. This book will instigate the thought process and actions required to transform your life. Each day has a Bible verse, a teaching on that day's principle, a positive affirmation, a prayer for the day, self-assessment questions, success quotes, action steps, and a powerful inspirational message. Regardless of what field you're in, Less Than Unstoppable is your blueprint for success. Get your copy at Less Than Unstoppable. Also available on Amazon.